What is going on? Joey Kimberling back with you again. Or maybe some people call me the professor. You know, Professor Kimberling, you know, same thing. Today, we're going to be talking about thermal inversion. Something I've had a, I really, I was taking my like AP practice exam and I was like, wait a minute, what is this? So I decided to make a video about it. Let's, let's get into it. So, first, a key aspect of thermal inversion is the urban heat island effect. This is when more densely populated areas are hotter than less dense areas. This is because the concrete and the buildings, uh, they absorb more of the UV rays and it causes it to be, it causes the area to be hotter. This is called the lower Aladebo. Aladebo however you pronounce that. And in contrast, in juxtaposition, you know what I'm saying, the greenery in the less dense, more rural areas contribute the temperatures to be less hot because it absorbs or it reflects, it reflects in contrast to absorbs all the heat that is hitting it. So with this being said, uh, let's get into the definition of thermal inversion. So this is when the ground is hotter than the air above it, basically. And it causes a block in the natural flow of the atmosphere. So it can't, it's usually in an atmosphere, there's a convection, a convection current going on and on, you know, through the atmosphere. But because of this thermal inversion, it can't happen. Because, like what we see here, let me see that. Oh, this one. This dude right here is sandwiched in between two colder airs because it is being pushed up because this air or this ground is hotter. And because hot air rises, it goes up and then right back down. Instead of doing what's over here and going up. Then maybe it'll go back down. But the, the most important part is that it goes up. But with this thermal inversion, it can't happen. That is the gist. And because of this sandwich thing, uh, it can lead to irregular uh, weather conditions like freezing rain or smog. Smog is the biggest one. And that's deals with pollution also. Uh, if you don't know, if you're unaware, smog uh, is pretty bad. It can cause asthma, flare-ups, and maybe it can send some people to the hospital. Or, in some cases, it can lead to lower life expectancy because of the bad air that you're breathing into. Um, and it can also lead to a reduction in photosynthesis because, obviously, smog, sun. It's, it's like a brick wall. Well, like not as like a brick wall with little gaps in it. You know what I'm saying? Basically, that is thermal inversion in a nutshell. This is, what it, this is what it should look like. This is what it looks like. For thermal inversion, bad thing for the most part. I'll see y'all later. Have a great night.